We're very excited to be here. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, this is one of my favorite places in the world to play, and I'm playing with some of my favorite human beings and musicians in the world, and you all seem pretty cool as well, so I think this is going to be fun. We're going to be playing a bunch of music from, I've got three records out, uh, one is out of print, two of them you can find out there, and a vinyl. We're going to play music from all of uh, that trajectory, a bunch of different pieces that I hope you'll enjoy, and we're going to have some fun. And uh, this is getting recorded, and we might be using this for a live album, so if you want to give us some encouragement to put it out there, we, we feel your energy, we feel your love. <laughs> Thank you. We really do play better when we can feel that, so appreciate you all. Uh, we're going to start with a piece from uh, our, our second record called Dialectics of Freedom.
We're going to follow that up with a blues for my godson. This is called Anaki.
This is uh, one of my immigrant songs. Um, this is called When I Leave You, and it's about the many goodbyes that you have to go when you're living home and learning how to say goodbye, and it's always a bittersweet thing because y- you're going looking for different opportunities, but also uh, you know you're going to c- come back, you know, and so this is about that relationship to your home, to your loved ones, and I have to admit, it was once written for an ex-girlfriend, but, you know, art takes <laughs> a different meaning. It, it gets seasoned, so let's go with that. But anyway, this is When I Leave You. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you all.
Thank you all very much. I would like to take a second to introduce these wonderful people up uh, in front of you who I'm very lucky to be sharing the stage with. You have heard today uh, from on the trumpet, Mr. Drew Hansen. <laughs> on the saxophone, tenor saxophone thus far, Mr. Artie Black. On the trombone, we have Mr. Matthew Davis. <laughs> On the piano laying it down, Senor Joaquin Garcia. <laughs> and my main dude on the bass right here, Kit Lyles. We're gonna follow that up with a little ballad that's gonna feature Mr. Lyles at the beginning. Uh, this is entitled The Man of Flesh and Bone and it's inspired by uh, the writings of this guy called Miguel de Unamuno who wrote some pretty cool philosophy and some of the stuff he wrote was like, he was like, you know, in order to understand all these people and all these philosophers that have come before, you just have to understand one thing they are all made of flesh and bone, and they're all gonna die. And you can explain everything they say by the fact that they're facing their mortality. And so I was in the desert in China with Kit, and this melody came to me, and th that was the birth of this song, and this is called The Man of Flesh and Bone. Hope you all enjoy it. Thank you. 
This one comes out of our newest record. This is called La Fiebre del Oro, The Gold Fever. And this is about uh, ambition and our insatiable thirst for uh, material goods. Not only material goods, but uh, this ever-expansionist kind of uh, nature that we seem to have, at least in some vast Western cultures, and how it is the root uh, behind colonialism and a lot of the things that uh, we are suffering from today. So this is from our latest project called Desafio Candente, which emphasizes and focuses mostly on colonialism and its history through Latin America. Uh, so this is the gold fever. Hope you enjoy this.
You know, Way This is also an immigrant song. And we're going to finish this first set with a song called Arete. Arete uh, comes from a word uh, in ancient Greek that I cannot pronounce, but uh, it uh, means virtue. And the way Aristotle used to speak about virtue was the idea that it wasn't one thing or the other, but it was the golden mean and finding yourself in the middle. And so this song, after being in the States for a little while and studying uh, foreign music and, and having like my identity crisis, this song was about bringing who I am with these new things. And it, it was about meeting in the middle, not trying to be or play the music that I was hearing over there and not trying to be the Mexican thing, but trying to find myself somewhere in the middle of all these worlds that I have lived and that I get to share with these awesome people. So this is Arete. Thank you all very much. After this, we're going to take a short break, and then we'll have another little set. And thank you so much for hanging in there with us. We really appreciate you all.
Muchísimas. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you very much. We're going to take a brief intermission, no more than 15 minutes, and we'll be back with some more music. Seriously, thank you all so very much for being here with us. You've heard Mr. Drew Hansen, Artie Black, Matthew Davis up front on the horns. And back here in the rhythm section, we have Joaquin Garcia, Kit Lyles, and Juan Gustavo Cortinas. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Good evening, buenas noches. Welcome to the second set here at the lovely Constellation. We're very happy to be here and we are quite honored to have you in our presence, uh, enjoying, hopefully enjoying this music. Um, thank you very much for being here. Um, once again, we have uh, Mr. Drew Hansen on the trumpet today. <laughs> Mr. Artie Black on the saxophone. And later on bass clarinet, ooh. And we have Mr. Matthew Davis on the trombone. And some other instruments that I cannot name. It's okay. I went to school for music. It's okay. Uh, Joaquin Garcia on the piano. And Mr. Kit Lyles on the upright bass. This, this uh, first piece is called uh, Wish I Could Be There Now, and it's uh, um, about not being able, it's another immigrant song, I have a lot of immigrant songs, and this one's about not being able to be there next to your loved ones when all the good stuff and when all the bad things happen, you can't support them except at a distance and about trying to deal with those feelings. Um, so this is Wish I Could Be There Now.
Thank you.
This next piece is called Avia Yala. It's inspired by the decolonial movement, and it's about taking uh, the reins over the imposed history and trying to uh, recuperate uh, authority over uh, one's identity, uh, which is something that's very related to colonial history. It's also in uh, our latest production, uh, Desafio Candente, Avia Yala.
Um, this next piece is dedicated to my father. He um, passed away 10 years ago last June, and uh, his name was Leon, and so this is called La Balada de Leon, the Lion's Ballad. Thank you, Thank you sir, Mr. Artie Black. Thank you. 
This is a song, you know, sometimes you're immature and you write something and then later you learn that things are, aren't quite like that. This is one of those songs. So this song is called Timing is Everything. You know, and it's, it's written like at a time where like I thought things were just not working out. And it's like, it's, it's the timing. Timing's just not right, you know. And then like you grow wiser and it's like, oh no, I'm just full of crap. Like, when, when you want to make things work out, you find a way, because life's never going to give you the perfect timing. So I've grown wiser, but I still dig the tune, so we, we, st <laughs> we play the tune. It's too late to rename it, I think. But anyway, this is timing is everything.
Thank you all very much for hanging with us tonight. We're uh, getting pretty close to the end. We played a couple long sets. I hope you all are not brutally tired. Thank you so much for hanging out. We really appreciate you all. And uh, we're going to play one more tune. And uh, it's this tune is called Pax Britannica. It's inspired by uh, a mixture of a couple different rhythms in 6, 8, slash 3, 4 from Latin America, from South America. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. It's going to feature our pianist, Joaquin Garcia. And once again, you've heard from Drew Hansen on the trumpet. Uh, Mr. Artie Black on the tenor saxophone and clarinet. Matthew Davis on the trombone. Joaquin Garcia on the piano. And my body Kit Lyles on the bass. Once again, thank you so much for hanging with us. This is Pax Britannica. Thank you, Constellation, for being here. Thank you, Cooper, for kicking so much butt back there. Appreciate the sound. Uh, special shout out to a couple special people in the audience. We have, uh, if you happen to glance the vinyl out there, we have uh, Miss uh, Carmen Chami here who did the artwork for that painting. She's got an amazing expo right now at the National Museum of Mexican Art that you gotta check out. So. Uh, my friend Javier Red is also here who performed on uh, the piece on the record called La Fiebre del Oro. So thank you so much, Javier. We have Mr. Sack Sievers, who did all the, the, the whole record is like a video production. We have 14 videos being released, and uh, I think Mr. Sack Sievers did a great job. So Sack, I think, is around here, and thank you so much. <laughs> and because why not, we have Miss Mami Linda, Miss Linda Lidke, who's like uh, an adoptive mom to a couple people up here who like, we've been on tour, and she, fostered us in Puerto Rico and is just a driving force of inspiration and love and thank you so much for being here. This is Pax Britannica. Thank you all so very much for hanging out. Love you all. Appreciate you.
Thank you all so very much. Drew Hansen, Artie Black, Matthew Davies, Joaquin Garcia, Kit Lyles. Thank you, Cooper, behind all the mixing board and sound over here. Thank you, Mike Reed and Constellation for having us. And thank you all so much for being here. We were playing when you weren't here and it was lacking some energy and you guys brought the vibe. So thank you so much for that. Hope you have a good night. Be careful driving in the rain and uh, uh, come say hi if you want. We're mostly friendly. Don't get near that guy. He's, he bites. Uh, <laughs> Uh, thank you all very much. Have a good night. Appreciate you all.